In this video, I am talking about the habituation sensitization and the mechanism called long-term potentiation and long-term depression in the learning and memory process in the higher level in the brain. Let us start with the, you know, the definition of the learning. Learning is a specific change or modification in behavior involving in the nervous system as a result of experiences with the e with the external events or a series of events in one's individual life. This is the standard definition of the learning as far as physiology is concerned. And uh, let us start with the habituation. The habituation means become habitant to the particular stimulus. For example, noise and awareness about wearing of clothes and we become ignorant or neurons become ignorant so no longer sense the information about this unwanted information so this is because of inactivation of the presynaptic calcium channels leads to the the low availability of the calcium entry in the presynaptic neuron in the brain and then that leads to the less neurotransmitter release in the postsynaptic neuron. So this is what happens in the habituation. So the noise after some time, the stimulus of noise as well as the stimulus as if we were in the clothes become ignorant in the neurons because of habituation. So the noise at the office and uh, the awareness that we wearing about clothes and mainly non-associated the stimulus non associate associative learning is a classical example of habituation so there is no association required for the habituation association of stimulus and coming to the sensitization is the second aspect the increased augmented postsynaptic response seen in the neuronal system while learning and the presynaptic facilitation is the main factor which promotes more uh, the activation in the post synaptic neuron just reverse to the habituation with additional so the sensitization may increases with the uh, addition of uh, further noxious stimulus so the two noxious stimulus will reinforce the sensitization process the sensitization habituation process are the short uh, acting events and the, the for example here the pain stimulus is being discussed out here and uh, when pain stimulates the central nervous system increases the facilitation in the presynaptic neuron that may increase the cyclic AMP in certain uh, synaptic level and thereby increases the calcium levels in the postsynaptic neuron increases the response to the pain which is the protective mechanism and the learning mechanism in the long term potentiation is a very critical and uh, molecular mechanism of learning and memory process involved in the synapse of the central nervous system where the long LTP extensively studied in the CA1 and CA3 of pyramidal cells of the hippocampal area and the rabbit cells brain and the magnesium ion usually by binds and uh, inhibits the uh, NMDA receptor and where the NMDA receptor facilitate the transportation of the calcium and sodium ion inside and potassium outside so as and when the glutamate releases the glutamate is the neurotransmitter in certain neurons and binds with the NMDA receptor which facilitates calcium entry inside the postsynaptic neuron Apart from that, the glutamate also binds with the glutamate, glutamic receptor in the postsynaptic neuron that uh, activates the uh, G proteins and G protein uh, cyclic AMP facilitates more release of the calcium ion from the calcium stores. Those are called calcium sparks. The calcium apparently binds with the uh, calmodulin which uh, activates the kinases, calmodulin kinases and further activates AMPA. Uh, receptor which are there in the postsynaptic uh, neuron upon phosphorylation of the 
the specific receptor AMPA receptor which facilitates for the sodium entry inside the postsynaptic neuron and, uh, and also the calcium ion activates protein kinase C which may in turn activates the more release of the glutamate neurotransmitter probably via nitric oxide uh, the chemical and uh, LTD long term depression is just reverse to the LTP where the neurotransmitter binds with the glutamate 2 receptor which inhibits AMPA receptors.